Let's now find the equation of a plane between two parallel planes. Well, here's a question which says determine the equation of the plane equidistant from pi 1 and pi 2. Pi 1 is given to us as x plus 2y minus z plus 2 equals to 0 and pi 2 is x plus 2y minus z plus 6 equals to 0. So I'm taking very simple equations and very simple examples. The idea is to understand the concepts. And for us, as you will see in most of the examples, what I'll try to do is, whenever we are into this kind of a situation where we have a choice of finding a point, then we are always finding one particular point, and that is z-intercept, right? So z-intercept is the point which we normally find if we have a choice to find a point. Now, in this particular case, what we know is that the two planes are normal. Uh, what we know is that the two planes are parallel since the normals are same, right? Equations are x plus 2y minus z plus 2, so that means n1 is actually 1, 2, and minus 1, correct? And for pi 2 also, it is exactly the same value. So both are parallel, right? So normal n1 equals to normal n2, and since they are same, their planes are parallel. Now, is the question is the plane which is parallel to these will also have the same normal right so that means the plane let's say pi 3 will have the same normal so we know what the normal should be which is 1 2 minus 1 so with that we can always write pi 3 as equals to uh, x plus 2y minus z plus d equals to 0 right now the question is how will you find d to find d, we need a point on the plane. So once we have a point, we can put those x, y, z values and calculate d. Now how to find this point? That is the question. I hope you got the idea. We'll take z-intercepts of both the planes and then find midway between them. Is that okay? So we'll do that. So to find z-intercept, basically what do we do? To find z-intercept, we place x and y equals to 0, right? So we write x equals to 0 and we write y equals to 0 and then we find what the intercept is. So we will do that for both the equations. Now, for the first equation, pi 1, if I write 0, 0, then what is z equals to? So in this equation, we can substitute x equals to y equals to 0, and if we do that, what do we get? We get 0 plus 2 times 0 minus z plus 2 equals to 0, and that means z equals to 2. Is that okay? So that is the value of z, right? Now in the other equation, if I put the same thing, that is x equals to y equals to 0, what is the z-intercept? I get 0 plus 2 times 0 minus z plus 6 equals to 0, and here I get z equals to 6, right? So therefore, the two points on these planes, let me call them as P1 and P2, right? P1 is equals to 0, 0, and 2, right? And P2, the point on the second plane, is 0, 0, and 6. So these are points on these two planes, and we have taken Z intercepts. So what we can do now is find a midpoint between the two. So what is the midpoint? So what is the midpoint of P1 and P2? Now that midpoint should lie on a plane pi 3 which is equidistant from both the planes, right? That is the concept. So midpoint, let's call this as P3, right? So P3 will be equals to average of these two. So we'll add them, divide by 2. So that z-intercept is going to be 0, 0, 6 plus 2 divided by 2, right? So which is equals to 0, 0, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that is the point. So we'll use this point in our equation and find what d is, correct? Now, since the point P3 should be on our plane, which is equidistant from the given planes, right? So we'll put this point and find d. So if we substitute 0, 0, and 4 here, we get what? We get 0 times 2 plus 0 minus z is 4 for us, in this case, plus d equals to 0. And so we get d equals to 4, right? So once you get d equals to 4, you can write down the equation of your plane. So the answer is that pi 3 is equals to 
x plus 2y minus z plus 4, right? Plus 4 equals to 0. So that is the equation of a plane which is midway between these two and you know and you can see so that is the equation of a plane which is midway between the two right so I've taken such a simple example that you can just verify and see well what else it could have been right but the idea here is to understand the whole process the process is that you take two points on the same kind of line so z intercepts are good points to take midway between them should lie on a plane which is equidistant between the two planes right so that gives us the answer I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.